All right, my Phantom Nation, we up in this thing. Yeah, another beautiful day, man. And we about to mess around with these cars, make a little bit more progress this weekend. Um, yeah, we just got this Audi just the other day. And it's sitting in the garage. It's going to be the car that I'm going to be driving for now in the meantime. It could use a little bath, but we're not going to focus on that right now. We're focusing on getting this product moved and getting it closer to the market, closer to sell, so we can get some bucks back in our pockets. So on the agenda for today, we have the Subaru, 07 Subaru Impreza. We're going to make some more progress on this guy. I've been just having it sit here for the past few weeks or so. Um, haven't made a whole lot of progress on it just because the weather has been so dreary lately. I've been needing to take this thing to get an inspection done. Say what's up to the Phantom Nation, Bruce. Say what's up to the other peoples, man. That's my son. Cameo, making a cameo appearance as he uh, does sometimes, but he's chilling with us today. Going to help us move these cars around. I need to get this Subaru loaded on the trailer. Today's nice enough to where my grass is dry so I can bring the truck and the trailer through without causing too much mayhem on the grass. So that's what's been the hold up for the most part. So that's the plan for now. I'm gonna bring the uh, truck and get the trailer and uh, load the Subaru up because here in Georgia, for some reason, they want you to bring the car on a trailer. They don't want you to drive the car to the actual location. So this car runs and drives on its own without any issues. It drives great actually, uh, but we're just going to load it up just for the sake of them wanting it to be on um, delivered to the to the uh, inspection site. We got a little bird poop on here. These birds, man, are bad out here, man. Well, not bad, but they're just everywhere. Um, probably because I got so many bird feeders all around the place, so they just love hanging out at my crib. Um, it's all cool, but I just it's, it's, it's a little messy sometimes when they start pooping on my cars, man. But no big deal. It's not ready to hit the market just yet. Um, I'm probably gonna give it a uh an exterior bath before we get to that uh the interior is clean though um doors locked so i can't really give you a, a full view but as you can see man the interior is still immaculate condition so um that i won't have to do anything with um all we got to do is just get the inspection done get that title rebuilt and we will uh be ready for this thing to to get sold um yeah so i can't sell this car here in georgia with established title that's just the rules here you know um as a used dealer they won't allow me to sell uh, a car with established title so we got to get this thing rebuilt and then we can take it to the market and those of you who are not already following me on the gram there is my uh link for my instagram fan of mobiles bruce huh I'm trying to show the people my uh, my tag, man. You covering it up. But there you go, man. Phantom Mobiles, man. Y'all follow me on the gram as well here on uh, YouTube. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's what we're doing here. That's the plan for today. Uh, just yesterday, we... Uh, yesterday, I ended up uh, just cleaning up the Buick and taking pictures of it. I have yet to post it, though, because by the time I got home, doing the ripping and running and shopping around and stuff with uh, me and the kid it was kind of late he ended up crashing so i was like man we was ex both exhausted from all the running around and stuff we were doing yesterday so i ain't had a chance to post it yet but i plan on doing it later on this evening and getting some offers on the Here's buick my 97 buick uh lesaber custom it is fairly clean it could be cleaner but uh, i'm just gonna post it like this for now Start getting some offers, don't matter, you know what I'm saying? It's clean enough to uh, get it gone. And we just got the emissions done on it today, so it is ready for the market as of now, like totally ready. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell this guy. I was thinking about just keeping it, holding on to it because, you know, it's uh, I got not much money into it and it's a very fairly decent car, comfortable, clean on the inside and everything. Um, it's only got about 84,000 miles on it. So that's pretty low. As you can see, me and the kiddo have been uh, riding around all day. Um, but you can also see how clean this interior is. And there's our view. We got it cleaned up yesterday. 
Desi Dollar came through and detailed the interior for us. And we have here the emissions done. As you can see, we got a pass there. So this thing is good to go. You know, this is a Georgia Georgia thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here we have to get emissions done, especially us used dealers in order to sell these cars, man. They have to have current emissions in most counties here. So for me to reach the maximum number of buyers, I like to have the emissions done already. But as you guys can see, this car is pretty immaculate, man. The seats are good conditions, no rips, no tears, just clean and pristine. So I shouldn't have any issues selling this car. I would imagine with only 84,000 miles, I should get close to what I want. I'm gonna post it for about 25 or best offer. I got about $1,100 in this car. So I'm planning to make this thing double. Uh, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on how that turns out for now. Um, yeah, let's just focus on this Subaru. I'm not actually going to take it and get it the yeah, inspection done today. I just want to get it loaded. So when I go later on this week, because this right now is the weekend, it's a Saturday and they won't be open today. But I just wanted to at least get it loaded and ready. So come the week, all I got to do is just roll out and just drop it off or you know yeah drop it off and um we'll be one less thing we got to do because just loading this thing up takes at least about 30 minutes or so so i just want to have that done that's one less thing i gotta do later especially on a day like today when i'm off and ain't really got a rush or anything so that's the plan for now um it's audi here this is the car that i am going to be driving for right now um, this is a pretty clean car. I can show you guys further in depth later on, but this is not what we're gonna be focusing on here today. Uh, I'll give you more information on this guy later. Um, but I got this car just, just the other day. Uh, this was a um, sight unseen purchase and we actually came out on top on this one. So yeah, and it could use a cleaning and all that. Well, but uh, Later, like I said, um, right now we're, we're focused on getting this money right. So let's get to it. All right, guys, see, this is what I was afraid of. I don't have four wheel drive. So it's just like, I get stuck back here sometimes. And now it looks like, man, it's not looking pretty here. I gotta figure out a way to get this damn truck unstuck. I can't even go forward, no backwards right now. This is annoying. Look at that. This is like digging a hole in my grass, dude. Like, uh, this is uh, the dilemmas, man. We'll figure something out, though. I'm gonna get this thing unstuck and get this damn trailer out of here. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Yeah. All right, guys, so. As you can see, we got nowhere. Back in the same spot we started. And not only that, just totally just destroyed my yard here. This is freaking terrible. I went through all this just to get this damn thing back where it was. I can't, it's, this thing is stuck back here for right now. I guess I gotta wait till this, this ground dries up a little bit more, but this will be a lesson learned for me. Uh, I gotta do something better than this as far as uh, what I'm going to do as far as getting to and fro with this truck and trailer. To be honest, I screwed up my whole yard. Freaking, I just put new tires on this truck. So I guess these are not all-terrain tires. I mean, they're supposed to be like a combination of all-terrain and highway tires figure out something to do with this damn yard because uh this is going to be a problem man and this right here this is just just this is not it's not going to work so looks like we won't be towing the subaru anytime soon i'm going to have to come up with something else to get this thing towed so uh, right now i'm in the market of just selling every freaking thing the buick's going the subaru's going and now Big Max is going. So there it is, guys. That's 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 the plan here. Um, just kind of aggravated because I'm making no progress. All because my truck is stuck in my backyard. Like that's ridiculous, man. 
anyway let's just uh wrap it up for now go get cleaned up freaking shoes are all busted in the skusket they're all in my pants this is this is just terrible man i'm freaking aggravated but it is what it is all right here we go phantom nation my dad came came through to rescue me next day later he's gonna uh hook up this trailer for me pull it out his truck got four-wheel drive so it's this shouldn't be no issue for him so this is what we're needing to possibly try and upgrade to and uh yeah you see man my yard it's all tore up and yeah we're gonna have to do something to fix this but right now i'm just trying to keep it pushing we got to get these cars moving so just trying to make some type of progress this weekend and uh yeah i'm gonna have my dad he's gonna help me pull this trailer out and then we're gonna try and pull big max out so that's the plan for now. He's looking up to it. Should be that hard. I don't know why is that. What happened to it? Really not that stiff. I probably need to put some blue on it or something. Yeah. There it goes. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate it, Fox. Came and saved the day. My man. Good thing he came in town this weekend. So, yeah. Now that he's got that, I'm going to work on getting some chains so we can pull this guy out. Okay. I'm about to turn it on now. Okay. There we go. Fire right up. Man. It's a good truck, but hey, man. Just let me down. So, we're going to get this thing up out of here one way or another. That's how we're going to do it. Yep, ready when you are. Good thing he came through this weekend. Goodness, man. I'm able to get something done. So, let's do it. Ooh. There we go. Going our way. Roll with him. Pulling me out. Big Max. Why you gotta do me like this? This man. Alright, that should be good. Yes. Dang. That's it. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, man. That worked out. How do you know you're back? <laughs> I will full wheel drive do for you. Okay, now, man. Big Max don't let me down, man. I'm, I'm really disappointed in this truck. But we out now, so that's it. I just got to get this mud off the tires, get it cleaned up some, and... Man, get this gig bay out the work. Just super reloaded up. And it caused so much mess up in here, but it's 
it's all good, man. We'll get that cleaned up eventually. I ain't too worried about it. Got a trailer over here, so we already see what's about to happen. Uh, yeah, so I'm just glad we were able to get this thing out, man. So, uh, all right, man. On to the next, on to the next task, man. Y'all, so that just left out. It was nice uh, spending some time with those guys. So yeah, it was very unfortunate they had to leave. It's always hard saying goodbye, man. But they're gone and we're back here left with the grind, man. So we at least got the truck and the trailer pulled out the mud and we can now proceed to the mission of loading up the Subaru and getting it ready for inspection later this week. It's Saturday. No, I'm sorry. It's Sunday now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm about to call it a day as far as this goes. I'm just grateful to have the truck and trailer pulled out. I would like to have had the car loaded, but it's getting later in the evening. And I'm just going to uh, call it a day here because I got to go to work later tonight. So I'm just going to pause here, put a bookmark and chill for the evening. Um you got Junior rolling out with me. He got his truck and his trailer doing his thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, we about to call it a day, man. It's kind of chilly out here. And just going to go inside and just chill for the rest of the evening, man. And we'll wrap back up another day or so. We'll see. I'll let y'all.